welcome to another vlog and happy 2024. This is my first vlog of the year um, and it's going to be a quite an exciting one. Um, we are off for a lovely weekend in the lakes for my birthday. Um, so today is Thursday but yesterday was my birthday. So we're just on route now in the car. Yeah we're quite fortunate enough um, the place that we're staying at got in contact with me to ask if we wanted to
morning so we have just parked up um because we can't check in to the pod till 3 p.m we have stopped off um just in the town center and there's a few places that um the lovely team at eden i think it's what eden clamping yeah um, they've recommended a few places to eat so we're going into a place called the crown and cushion i think so yeah adam's just paying for parking now so uh, we are both starving as well we've not eaten a single thing all day <laughs> so i'm looking forward to some food and good glass of wine maybe I have just gone for the posh fing fish finger butter and some chips. And what did you go for, Adam? Burger. Mm hmm. Mm, that's good. Nice. So we have just had a lovely lunch um, at the Crown and Cushion, I think it was. It's like a little pub. Um, funnily enough, the pub, because Adam does like public Wi-Fi and stuff, and the pub was um, a Robinson's pub, which he does uh, the Wi-Fi for. So he got, on, he got in his little geek mode. Oh, he's here now looking at his locust. <laughs> he's getting blown away. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, come on. So, we have just arrived at the pod, and look how cozy this is. Oh, my goodness! I can't believe how big it is on the pictures. Honestly, it does not do this place justice. Like, oh, my goodness, it's so nice so i actually picked this uh, one in particular just because of the interior like i loved like all the gray green uh, mixed with the browns um, it's so nice like these cushions so nice and we've got a nice king size bed like oh my goodness and look we've got some little towels and some little flip flops because these will come in handy because we have a wood fired hot tub to get into later so those will definitely come in handy um, I'll just pan around here so we've got a nice sofa a big corner sofa oh my goodness and then that is the views look at the view outside I mean the weather is not the, bit, the best at the minute it's typical English weather, <laughs> rain, but it is supposed to be nice and nicer weather tomorrow, nice and dry, so fingers crossed. And if you just see there, that's not actually a lake, it's just because the amount of water, the rainfall, it's created its own pond. Well, I think so, anyway, it looks like it. <laughs> it's how nice are these views though, oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful oh my goodness i can't wait so yeah i'll just come back to the pod so we have a nice tv we've got a heater and then we've got like a little table if we want to have breakfast there um and then here we have the hob and then i think i believe that's like a combi like a microwave combi oven which will come in handy and then look at this what they've left a s'mores kit so we've actually got a fire pit um outside as well so if we want to get really cozy 
Um, we could open that, shall we open it? <gasps> Let's have a look inside what they've got. Oh my goodness. Exciting. Oh, let's have a look. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I think I might have to hide this from Adam. <laughs> He's going to lose his mind. <gasps> Chocolate buttons, marshmallows, <gasps> and some biscuits. I actually did bring our own little s'mores kit as well because I didn't expect um, them to leave this. So this is so nice of them. Yeah, we've got some biscuits. Oh, God, these look good actually. They're like proper biscuits to make s'mores and they've got like the little forks oh my goodness oh, that is so cool I love that and then yeah we've just got all the necessities so we've got a kettle so we can make a nice brew in the morning and then how nice are these cups by the way like this cup oh, it looks so nice looks really nice so yeah um and then this i definitely have this in our house <laughs> I'm sure this is from Dunelm, but it definitely looks like the Neptune dupe. How nice is that? It, oh, I absolutely love that cup. Oh my goodness. How nice. I can't wait to have a nice cup of tea in that later. And then we've got a toaster. And then Adam will also be happy to see that we've got a coffee machine as well. Um, let's have a look in here. Oh, so it's like a little wardrobe. Cute. So at least I don't have to worry about um having all the stuff packed in oh and there's a hairdryer as well i did bring my dyson but you know that's good to know so yeah lots of storage which is good so let's have a look so we've got drawers oh with all the essentials oh we've got dominoes <gasps> and cards oh my god we're definitely gonna have to play some cards later definitely and then oh what's in here oh we've got all the cuddle and plates and glasses Oh, and I buy some Prosecco glasses, which is good, because I've bought some, brought some Prosecco, of course, and some rosé wine. <laughs> and we've got all, oh, all the pans and the cleaning products. Amazing. And then what's in this one? Oh, the fridge. Yay. Look, that's a really good size fridge as well. Wow. And a freezer as well. <gasps> and some ice cubes. Lovely. Amazing. <gasps> my goodness so yeah oh, look i'm so impressed adam's literally waiting in the car for me to do all this so i'm gonna have to do it really quick because i feel sorry for him but yeah let, i'll do a quick outfit of the day in a minute let me just have a look in the bathroom and oh my goodness they've got brought robes we actually brought our own because i wasn't sure i didn't check but that's so good that they've got those and then we just got a little sink here and they've actually look they've got their own branded soap and shampoo oh, that is so nice nice little tray i love that that's really nice and little loo and look you've even got a lovely view of when you have come to do your business look at that i mean you can't probably see it with the raindrops that's a really nice loo view sorry and then oh my goodness look it's a double shower wow that is huge. Oh my goodness. <gasps> is it a sliding one? Wow. Oh my goodness. That is huge. I can't even pan out even further just to show you. But it's absolutely huge. Let's see if we've got a light. Oh, here. Yeah. Is this a light or is that a fan? Oh, I don't know. Is this a light? Oh, yeah. There we go. I've got a little light there now. But yeah, look at it. Oh my goodness. Huge. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, okay. Right, I'm going to have to do a little outfit of the day now very quickly. So, my hair is a bit dishevelled because the, hair, the, the weather is absolutely wild outside. So, we have um, a H&M jumper, which I got just before Christmas. I think this actually went into the sale. I don't know if you'll still be able to get it, but I will link it down below just in case. Um, and this blazer is also from H&M, which I only picked up this week in my local H&M store because if you are um, a member with a H&M, if you put your date of birth in with all your details, they send you um, a code, 25% off code for your birthday. So this blazer should have been, I think about £45 and with the code for my birthday, I got it for £33 and it's so nice. It's like a really thick wool it's like a browny grey shade. It's so nice. And I love the buttons on it as well. And it's kind of like, do they call it double breasted? Yeah, so when you close it, 
it goes across like that as well but no i just tend to keep it open but yeah pants are really old i don't actually know where these are from but they're like quite high waisted like really high waisted um and then the absolute goals boot goals so these were actually my birthday treat this year so these are from i'm going to try and get a better picture let's see can you see in there these are my new boots from Fairfax and Favour. So I did have slight issues getting these. The first pair arrived and I wasn't happy with them. And that's all I'm going to say. But the, honestly, the customer service is next to none. Like I, e I didn't email them. What did I do? I WhatsApp them on a Sunday afternoon and they replied instantly and sorted the issue out and had another new pair sent out to me just in time for my birthday weekend away which is amazing but honestly I am in love with them so I'm just trying to break them in a little bit because they are very tight um, but I'm just trying to show you the right colour let's go over here so you can see it so they're like a mahogany colour oh there you can see how gorgeous are they I am literally obsessed so nice and i got these gloves from marks and spencers this week as well and they just match perfectly like how good is that so yeah and then my bag that i brought with me is from studio by charlotte which was very kindly sent to me i'm gonna do is now is rescue adam from the car because we are gonna have to go out in this weather and get up bring all the stuff in and there's a lot of stuff wish me luck but yeah it's time to get settled in and i believe the hot tub is all uh, it's a wood fire one because adam was like oh like we're gonna have to deal with that people who own um the glamping pods have very kindly warmed it up for us so yeah i mean it's not undercover so i've got a brolly so we might have to either wait for, we'll check the weather see if it's due to stop the rain anytime soon but it doesn't look like it but we will be in that hot tub regardless whether it's rain or shine we will we'll take a brolly we'll take our rosy wine and yeah and we'll do a s'mores kit i'm gonna go now but i will catch up with you soon adam's just unloading all the car so i am going to put everything that we brought in the fridge because of a few things including the main priority is a glass of rosé that needs to start getting chilled in the fridge <laughs> oh damn it i've just forgot we didn't get any milk <gasps> oh okay maybe that's a problem we've got some go on you're right put them in the drawer got some cloudy apple um and we've got some pizzas to have tonight because we're quite full um, from our lunch. So I've got um, Adam, I've got him this one and then I'll have the pepperoni. So put them in the fridge. And then what else did I get? Some bagels, got some Philadelphia because I'm going to have prosciutto and some, oh, I brought some soup as well. Oh, did a quick Ocado shop. So I got some Dalesford soup, which should be very nice. I'll pop that down there. And then got to have the cornflake, chocolate cornflake bites, of course. And then we also got millionaires bites. Um, so yeah, there's a prosciutto, so I'll put that in there. And then, yeah, so, oh, got a little mini pizza. So we thought Ivy was coming with us. And then yeah, just lots of sweets and Percy pigs. Yummy. Before they got official approval. And they're embarking on a second project. They're aiming to convert the barn into open plan accommodation sleeping for. It's ambitious, especially as they plan to do think about afterlife. And it's yeah. something very different to this, obviously, Carrie. And it's but afterlife for me is one of the best series ever. Oh wow. Well. I think it's brilliant and it's that so this is our pod that we are staying in i'm actually filming this in the morning because obviously yesterday you will have seen that it was torrential rain and wind but look at this view oh, i cannot get over it so let me just pan around because obviously it's just going to affect you see it but look 
at this a much better day today which is so nice to see I sound a bit croaky because I've literally just woke up I've just made it through <laughs> let me just show you so we've got a little bench to sit out and this will be so nice um, obviously in back in the summer so if you've got friends around you can have a, look, have a little barbecue because they've got a wood fire that you can get going there a little barbecue so yeah so just imagine just sat round with these views oh, amazing and then i'm not too sure what's in there i guess it's the firewood and kindling but this is the hot tub that very sadly we didn't get to try out last night adam was adam went out at one point to check that it was nice and warm and he was like it's not that bad you know and i was like no <laughs> so hopefully fingers crossed um we can try and get it at some point today <clears throat> oh god my throat but yeah it looks i don't even think i'll be able to lift this up but yeah we'll have to fire it up again anyway because obviously it'll be cold because there'll be no fire to it and these are just the views um, at the back of the pod as well so again nice scenic views oh, I'm so glad to see that it's nice and dry it is still cold oh my god the sheep oh my goodness Oh my goodness, I really want to walk down there, but I think there's someone in the pod next to us and I don't want to disturb them. Let's see, actually, it might be better going this way because it's only the bathroom at the back. Oh my god, little sheepies. Let's have a look. Oh. Let's have a look at the sheep. I've just come out in Adam's trainers as well. I mean, if I'm not a fashion icon right now. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> yeah, look, there's little sheepies. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Oh, little sheep. Oh, that's so nice to see. There's a lot of them as well. Good morning, guys. I thought I'd do a quick get ready with me. So today's Friday, I'm just brushing my brows, getting them in place. And we are gonna go for, sorry. We are gonna go for a nice walk first to start the day. So it's round, what time is it now? We just had some breakfast. We just made some bagels with prosciutto and Philadelphia. So it's 20 past 10 today. So I'm gonna try and get ready in the next 10 minutes so we can set off and go. Um, I'm just going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. Full us filter first. Um, I might even just put this on and not foundation because we're only going for a walk but then we are hoping to go on a boat steamer or steam boat I don't know what to call it <laughs> um, but we need to book tickets for that so we just don't know how long the walk's going to be I think it's an hour and a half but to get there to a physical place it's called Erebus I think um, but yeah to get to the actual place it's about 45 minute drive so the, play, the place we're staying at, Eden Heights, they've on their website, it's really good. So they kind of, they've got a blog post that they did saying like your perfect weekend in the lakes and they've suggested loads of nice walks to do, which is so handy. Obviously, we've never been in this area of the Lake District before. So it's always nice to kind of have their recommendations. And I actually um, messaged them via Instagram to see if we need to make any reservations for tea. Um, and she also suggested the lady, I think she's called Joanne, she also suggested places to eat as well like that are on the website which is good. Um, but the only difficult thing is because it's January, it is um, quite a quiet period for the legs. Obviously with the Christmas, the lead up to Christmas being a really busy period, a lot of places do shut. Um, but not everywhere, there's only a few places that I've found that I like the look of that have actually closed. But so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out. I'm gonna put my Apple Watch on, I've charged that, and get some steps in. Um, but yeah, last night it was so nice. Me and Adam had such a laugh. We um, so we got some pizzas that I showed you. So pop, um, we had those later on, but just leading up, I think we got back around six-ish, or maybe earlier than that, actually, no, five. five. I have four or five actually. So just stuck the TV on and 
had I've made a brew and some and some biscuits and stuff and then later on we decided to play dominoes um, and it was really fun. I've never played dominoes before. Well, I have probably as a kid but I didn't know if there was like rules as an adult where I could play it properly but it turns out there actually isn't. Um, but no, we had such a laugh and I actually won. So yeah, go me. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then we had some rosé. Well, we had some Prosecco rosé. I brought like three bottles. And two Prosecco rosé and a nice rosé wine. So we went through the Prosecco last night, which was lovely. Um, oh, oh no, it's gone on my pyjamas. Lovely. <laughs> I'm just going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation. Now, I said I wouldn't wear foundation, but I'm just thinking if it's... We might be out all day and then go out for tea. We're going to take some spare clothes in the car for us, so yeah, we shall see. Um, but we watched um, the semi-final of The Traitors last night. Oh my God, is anyone watching it? If not, I definitely recommend it. So my mother-in-law's watching it and then I told my mum and dad about it. And they don't really watch stuff like that, but they did watch the programme Survivor. Um, and they loved it, so I was like, if you like that, then you're gonna love the trailers. And they've got actually got into it now, but it's so good. So the finals tonight, so we're definitely gonna be watch that. Like kind of planning on whole night around it. <laughs> so hopefully we'll go, go, go out for something to eat, have a nice meal, and then get back in time for that. Can't wait. Um, and oh, it's taking me forever. I brought the wrong um, beauty sponge. So this one's actually from Beauty Pie. <clears throat> Such a good dupe for the, I think it's Real Techniques, that I've like the Beauty Blender sponge. But I brought the wrong one, this is like one of the smaller ones, so it's definitely taken me longer to blend in. Um, but I just need to make sure it's all done. Right, next we are going to go in with, speaking of Beauty Pie, so this I am absolutely loving. So this is the Beauty Pie uh, Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector. So this is good, so good, just to put under the eyes. So I just go in with a beauty blender, and it just brightens the eyes up just a bit because obviously it's quite well. It's not early in the morning, but I hide those bags somehow. <laughs> um, this jam set, by the way, is so nice and cozy. It's literally it's it reminds me so much of the white company ones that I have, but these are actually from H and M. So I got them just before Christmas so hopefully it's still available but if not I'm sure they will do other um, colours. Um, so yes that's that done and then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Powder just to pop under my eyes just to set that concealer um, and I've got to show you guys let me just pop you on here. I am just looking at the most amazing view. Look, so literally this is my this is my view. I'm doing my makeup in the mirror. I'm talking to you guys, propping you up on there, and I am just looking out onto this. How amazing! And the sheep as well. I didn't realise there were sheep in the field. And look at this little guy here. He's just he's just on his little lonesome, but well, not on his lonesome, but he's just chilling at the gate, eating his little breakfast this morning. There he goes. But yeah, how nice is this? If I could wake up to this view every morning, oh, it would just be bliss, wouldn't it? That's better, okay. Right, okay, I'm really upset about this, but let's not concentrate on that. <laughs> Next up is, oh, my holy grail, like this product is amazing. So it is the Chanel bronzer. So it's like a cream bronzer. This is my second one I've had in about four years because the um the texture of it is so nice it's easily blendable but the cost is it the cost per wear i get from it is amazing so it is expensive i think it's around about 60 70 pounds but honestly it lasts me about two years like the product goes such a long way um so yeah i'm not begrudged to pay that when it lasts me about two years and it's so nice so just easily just doing the contours of my face, a bit of my nose. 
but I always do like to go in with a powder on top. Um, yeah, we'll do that now. So yeah, definitely recommend this. I will link all the products down below as well in case you want to try anything. And then going in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but of course the lid always breaks. I'm just very clumsy when it comes to doing this. Um, but yeah, this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. So we'll just go over the top just to, I feel like it just sets the makeup in place. It might not do on me, I'm not a makeup professional, but <laughs> so I'm just gonna go right in with my forehead now. I'm just gonna look in the mirror. Oh. Oh, so yeah, we're here for two nights. So we've got last night and then tonight and then we'll go home Saturday. But I said we might as well make it a whole weekend of it. Um so I think we're gonna check out tomorrow at ten o'clock. But we will probably spend all day in the licks on Saturday as well before we head back home and if the weather stays like this then we will be very happy <clears throat> um, so i'm just going to go in with the blusher so this is the laura mercier oh no oh no <laughs> So this was, well kind of still is, oh god, um, the colour is Chai Blusher which I'm going to have to be very careful with now. And like you said, I've just, what was I saying just then, I am super, super clumsy. Well, you've just seen it in action right there. <laughs> okay, right, oh, I'm going to have to just worry about that later on because I need to get ready. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just brush my, set my things in place, make sure I'm happy with them. And then I have got this, um, so it's swatched off, uh, got to be glued, so it's literally like a little spoolie, but it's got the glue on, so it's perfect for just going over your brows and making sure they stay in place but as well it's kind of like a two in one so I find if you've got like a slick back hair like a ponytail or a bun if you just go in like that with your little baby hairs the little flyaways it's so good for tucking it in but obviously I've just shut mine off I'm going to keep mine down today but it's really good for that as well okay okay right what do need to do now do any I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on I'll do that list tonight because that's just a bit bougie for a walk <laughs> putting eyeshadow on so let's I'm just gonna go in with mascara so this one's just I don't rate it to be honest it's the L'Oreal Paris volume million lashes and um, I've got my eyelash curls as well I'm just gonna do this off camera um, and I will just show you quickly my outfit of the day once I'm all dressed but I'm just gonna stick on some Adenola leggings thermal t-shirt and then I have a new coat from um, Holland Cooper so it's kind of like a field jacket country jacket uh, but it's fully waterproof and it comes with a gilet underneath so it's just perfect for walking and then I brought wellies and walking boots I'm going to do walking boots today just for nice and comfy and um, let me see if I can, I can use this Ooh. so now lipstick 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 I think that's in my handbag so I'll put that on later tidy all this away and then I've got all my makeup in my Katie Luxton bag which is just the perfect size to fit all my makeup in. Um, I do have a discount code I think yes I do have a discount code for this so I'll link this down below I can't quite remember it now but I have two oh, okay. so I have two so I've got one for makeup and one for blush bag so that's got all my skincare products all my other stuff in so yeah it's just so handy for weekends away like this just to take them um, and yeah, I brought my new Beauty Pie. This is amazing. So another Beauty Pie product. It's um, like a shea butter. It smells oh, incredible. It smells like holiday. So nice. 
So yeah, that's the super healthy skin deluxe body moisture cream so nice. So I'll put that on once I've had a shower tonight and put that on. Put a bit of deodorant on. And then take my hair out, which hopefully shouldn't be a bush. <laughs> Oh, too bad actually. I always find after the day after curling it never stays in but it's got like this weird flick. So annoying. Um, but I'm going to be wearing a hat today so I'll just shove my hat on and it'll be fine. But yeah, that is the end. Look. So yeah, just super simple. I'll put my hat on and then I will show you my little outfit, my little walking outfit after. Do you bring your Apple Watch or not? He's 91 no. years of age and he mm -hmm. keeps his mind active by learning poetry by heart, by writing new poems, through poetry together. He started writing poetry, hadn't written a poem before. And the idea, and everyone can take part, young people, old people around the country, hundreds of schools and care homes taking part this year. Just go to poetrytogether.com to register for this year. We are this morning have supported it for a couple of years now. And we've invited them to come in and perform their fun. Because as well as learning fun by heart, which keeps the mind going and stimulates the mind if you're young, we've invited them to write poems. And the theme this year is write a poem about happiness. And each of them have written a poem about happiness. Getting an older generation and the younger generation. The older generation obviously always like that when they see younger generations. Younger generations learn so much from older generations. We, we have kismet. Uh, it is kismet. We have, for example, there's a school that specializes in children who had early life trauma. And one of these children got together with, I think it was his adopted grandfather. And through poetry, actually they released things in the child that weren't there before. So it's a wonderful way of actually helping children all over the country and also helping old people. And there's a school in Norfolk. So here is my little outfit of the day. So I've just popped this hat on. I actually picked this up this week from Hearts and Spencers. Um, this is a coat that I was telling you about. It is from Holland and Cooper. So I've got a thermal on underneath and then it comes with the gilet and it's got a nice... Is it this side? No, yeah, that side with the logo on. And then it's got this lovely um, leather binding, like piping. And then it's got the brand on the back. And then yeah, this is a jacket that pops on over the top, um, and it's just, it's just perfect for walking weather attire. So then I do have my Adenola leggings on, and uh, these are like I think they're in this espresso colour or coffee bean. I can't remember what quite the colour. Um, and then these socks are just from Primark, but these are the comfiest and softest socks. And then obviously my walking boots from Go Outdoors. <laughs> But this nice kind of brown, obviously well worn in. Um, I actually did the three peaks in these bad boys, so yeah, they have served me well. And then, yeah, these gloves that I showed yesterday. So I probably don't need them on yet. I might just pop them in my pocket. But yeah, I've just put some lipstick on now as well. This is Burr Minerals one, and it is so nice. It's really like creamy and buttery, really hydrating. Um, I can't quite remember the colour. Can I keep it out? Oh, I did actually, yeah. It, this is a focus so it's in like this one so i'm going to keep this in my pocket but yeah i think we're ready to go i think adam's just nipped out to make sure the car is all loaded with everything we need and um, we need to try and find somewhere that has water because we've not brought any flasks for water sillyly enough but yeah this is it um but yeah the we've tried to keep it tidy but yeah it's still looking like a glorious day Oh, it's so nice. I can't wait to go and explore.
I just thought I'd pop on because we are in the middle of all the mountains where it's not windy and you can probably hear me but we have got an amazing view oh my god just see but look at that so that is Lake Oldswater in the Lake District and if you look behind me we have some little sheepies there you can see that oh there they are just chilling so yeah just see them out there we go but oh it is so nice so nice and we have some tempastics to keep us going <laughs> nice lovely and now i've just been taking some nice pictures I'm actually making use of this camera and trying to get nice photos rather than just using my iPhone. He's just in action there and he's carrying my bag for me. That's not actually his bag because <laughs> I gave up. We've got lots of water just in case and it's far too heavy. But yeah, my toes are already hurting so that's not a good sign. But I'm trying to walk properly and not try and bang into any rocks. Because I made that mistake last time. But yeah, such a nice day. I'm so glad we decided to do a longer route. Because views like this. Beautiful. So we have just come back after our long walk and we are off out to have some tea. So I just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. So I have just a cream jumper from HM, the blazer that I came in again from HM. Um, Topshop jeans, I think, and then my boots from Fairfax and Favour. And then I've just got my scarf that I got from Katie Loxton, and it's the one that's got my initials on. So, in case I get a bit cold, and then I've got my bag here. But yeah, I really need to get a, a red bag just to match these, but this will do for now. Looking forward to some good food. Adam is clearly very hungry because we have gone for two cauliflower cheese souffles and then this is some fried chicken in a sriracha mayo. It looks so good. After an amazing starter, our mains are here. So I've gone for the chicken, ham hock and leek pie with chips and some greens and then Adam has gone for the beef brisket. Looks good though. So yeah, we'll let you know how it was. So Adam's gone, what, what did you get? Apple and mixed berry crumble. Apple and mixed berry crumble with some custard that they just made. And then I have gone for the apple pie with fresh cream. So good. Oh, you must be so jealous when it's just nice in mind. So we are all packed up and ready to go but i do not want to leave oh it's been so nice we were very fortunate with the weather because today it's quite gloomy if you look outside it is rather dull we are gonna head to pooley bridge now for some breakfast and then yeah head back home but yeah it's been so nice i'm a bit achy today after that walk um and i feel like i'm getting a cough already but no, we are had we've had such a nice time. So yeah, we just all packed up and done all the washing and made the bed. I will probably do a bit of filming 
in Pooley Bridge. There is a little bookshop that I want to go to and it's got like a cafe on the side so have like a nice coffee or hot chocolate maybe. Oh, oh, she'd love that. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know what she's like with your cuddly animals. Look at this one. She doesn't really much cuddle anymore. No. There's a. Um, I wonder if we've got that Tabby McTart because that's still a new one. Isn't this one? It's the Lake District one. Oh, is it? Oh. I mean, it's a bit of a story that far. No. Oh, is that the She'll be well bored and she'll quite time to finish that, won't she? It's not that bad because the Julie Donaldson ones are quite lovely. Mm. I think it's a bit too old for mm. it. Yeah. <coughs> they got any of those. A, oh no, it's a cat. Oh. That's a Julie Donaldson one, look. Yeah, but they're like, they are baby ones, yeah. those are. She, and she black rips ones. the fuck out of them. Yeah, she does. <laughs> um, this one, oh, I remember, I remember Percy books. Oh. Oh, what's that pepper one? Top, that one. Oh, it's the coronation. coronation. Mm. It's oh, they've got some Julie Dunn. Yeah, that's have a tap. Yeah. Oh, they've, they've got the Oi Dog one as well. We've got the eye dog, yeah. haven't we? Um, or have we got eye cat and eye frog? I don't know. Gosh, so that's like a bit of a... <laughs> You're just trying to, try to get the world's shortest book. Yeah. <laughs> um, We've never heard that one before, look. I've got the old platypus. Oh. That's a mouthful. Oh. What's this? We're going on I a birthday. I've got this one because it's blue. We're going to a birthday party. Well, this one's not too bad because she does like the lift flaps, but this is a bit older. Let's see what this one's about. I don't think. No, we've only got eye cat and eye frog. Oh yeah, look, because that's how the cat one is. Yeah. She might like this one. This one's because this has got flaps still in, but then it's. Yeah, there's quite a lot going on in there as well. Yeah. Should we get that one? My birthday one, do you think? I don't know if there's any others. She don't like bluey. What's this one? Oh, this has got a jigsaw in it. Is that just a jigsaw? Oh gosh, so it's a full on. There's all different ones. That might be better for like travelling, maybe. Mm. What's that, yeah, Mr. Mr. Puddlebrush? <laughs> that's not a light district one. Oh no, the temporary replacement was officially open on the 16th. Uh, 2016, so oh. 
Prince Charles visited the village. Yeah, he's there. The king. Let's open it. So me and Adam were just saying, last time we came to Pooley Bridge, this bridge was like this, um, but not long after. There was a storm at Desmond, and the bridge collapsed, which you can see on that picture there. So they have rebuilt it, and now it looks like that. First stainless steel road bridge. Mm. And that opened in 2020. Mm, and all the sheep went across. Oh my god. A lot of work's gone into that then. Oh, and there's an old picture there. What it used to look like back in the day. Oh, see, look, there's Waterfall. That's where we stayed. Yeah. When we came camping. 